YouTube, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a vanity tour. So you guys probably wonder where I sit and record my videos. Obviously, it's in front of a whole bunch of stuff, but it's its own major space. So I wanted to just show you guys a glimpse of my world and what I did and tried so hard to build and what I achieved. And this is just the start of it. I did have different vanities. I started out really, really small, and then I got to this size. But I think I eventually will change this eventually. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. But it always runs through my mind. I always wanna upgrade, so. So this video is in no way to brag about what I have, but just to show you what I worked really hard for. And it's interesting just to look at different makeup collections and what people prioritize and how they organize things. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So let's get right into the video. So let's start this video. So um, from an outside view, this is pretty much what you are looking at. Yes. Um, don't pay mind to the shoes and all this miscellaneous stuff that's not part of my vanity. It's just what my vanity is next to. Um, but yeah, so pretty much everything here is pretty much from Ikea. The chairs from Ikea, desk Ikea, um, that from Ikea, and that mirror from Ikea. This mirror is from Marshalls, and this mirror is from Impressions Vanity. So yeah. Um, moving over here, I have this nice setup. Um, this is where I would take my clients or pretty much anyone who's doing makeup with me. They could sit here, do their makeup, or um, just sit there while I do my makeup. But um, this is a director's chair. I got this off of Facebook Market. It was such a steal. And yeah, I'm thinking of painting it. I don't know what color yet, but I do want to paint it. Let me know any colors down below. Um, so right next to that is this ring light holder from Newer. And then my ring light itself. And this is a 18 inch ring light from Newer and it's LED. And yeah, it comes with the stand and I love it. And then on top of my director's chair is just this um, brush belt, um, pretty much just to hold my brushes while I do clients. So I just strap it on to um, around my um, chest or I put it around my waist and then I'll continue doing clients. But let's move on to my actual vanity where I sit. Um, this is just an outside view. Um, now I'm going to just bring in, you in closer and we can look at everything detail by detail. And on top of my mirror is this box with donuts, a crown, and then a unicorn because I love those things. And yeah. So on the side, there is a power on and off um, switch and then a dimmer, which is this. And behind my vanity is just boxes from um, makeup palettes that I love and I just keep them. And yeah, so those are the stuff on top and then on the other side there is a um plug-in switch so i could put in my iron or the cord i have to charge my electronics so vanity um let's move into these acrylic drawers these are both from amazon and i love them like literally love them so this um bigger one um up top um, it has my sponges, um, just a weird little vial thing, some clips. This is a like clicker, so it takes pictures on my phone without me holding it. But a couple pieces of jewelry, like um, my sh my name necklace that my lovely boyfriend got me, my promise ring that he got me, and then just some bee earrings that I love. So now moving on to in the drawers. And the first one is all like matte kind of products. So I have all these like matte pigments and neon pigments. And then back here I just have a uh, bundle um, that I got. So it has um, um, pigments and glitters, but I couldn't quite fit it in the sections itself. So I just put it in there. Um, in here I have lip scrubs. Um, this is an elf one. These are angelic beauty ones. 
And here I have glitters. Glitters for days. Lit, Batty Cosmetics, NYX, um, Angelic Beauty, so on. And here I have pigments, um, Wet n Wild pigments, Batty Cosmetics pigments, NYX pigments, and then more Angelic Beauty pigments. And here I have water activated paints. And yeah, some are neon and some are just regular. So I have a face palette down here and then three individual ones up here. And then down here, it's just pressed eyeshadows. Don't have a lot of those, but you know, collection will grow. Um, over here, I have lip liners and eye pencils, or what I call them is colored pencils um, for makeup. They're all in here. Um, these are my hair clips to keep my hair out of my face, but keep it down. In here, I have lip glosses, lipsticks, like matte lipsticks, and um, yeah. Down here, I have my lipsticks and lip glosses, my Fenty, and then some tube glosses. Yeah, anything like in this that I love is here. Like I have some Maybelline over here, some Morphe, MAC, um, Huda Beauty, Anastasia, Buxom, NARS, and then just a whole bunch. Um, in the corner of my vanity, I just have a deodorant and then a perfume. It's actually running out. I just want to use it up, so I left it there. Um, here I have just some things. These are some reading glasses. Um, my planner, the current book I'm reading. And then she was gone. I just started it. I got it a couple days ago. And then my life. This is my lifeline. This is pretty much where I put everything I need to buy, need to get, or need to rem remember on and then my planner is just where I put in when I work and stuff and then just highlight them then. So besides that stuff, moving on to this stuff, this is just my iPad and my laptop that I use. Um, I love my iPad. I have a mini fan because it was really hot and sometimes with the lights, the LED lights, it just gets really warm for me. And then my, my mirrors and etc. So let's move on to what's back. So I know you guys noticed, but I do have like um, a mug full of pens and markers that I love. And yeah, I have a whole clipper there too, you know, etc. I have my brushes, all like categories in different ways. Like these are like my real techniques, um, my smaller brushes, not quite full size. And I love them all the same. But back here I have this one it's all my crown brushes this one is all my just bigger brushes and then here i have all my blending brushes these are blending brushes i would say and like my little bullet ones these are all clean so some of them are just stained and then here are just like my thin artistic um shadow brushes you know all in here and they're in little donuts donuts thing holders so i love that but behind the actual mirror this is just my watch but behind the mirror there are sprays so i have two revolution sprays hyaluronic sports fix a mixing liquid the more free setting spray the mac this right here is just the daily brush cleaner and i usually try to keep that over here next to the water um this spray bottle has just water from water activated um paints and then also because i like to do my hair and i usually just want to put some water in it and then behind there is also a flashlight which has an led setting i have the all-nighter and then i have this um iconic london which it's glittery and stuff. I rarely use this, 
but it's nice to have. And then I have a Kabuchi brush from Elf. And that's all that's behind this. And then moving on to this um, basket right here. This is just where I, after I clean my brushes, I let them sit in here and dry. So that's why there's like kind of messed up, but whatever. And I sometimes even put dirty brushes in here. Hence this hot mess. Hence I put this in there, put the dirty brushes in, and then I take this whole basket to the bathroom and wash my brushes. I also, if I'm doing a big project, I take these things out and then I put in the products I use and then it helps me remember what I used. So yeah, that's what's on top of my abandoning. Now let's just move on to the drawers for like quick glance, nothing too. In the first drawer, we open her up. These are my like essential items. I have a blend of phone here. I have a compact mirror. And then some other stuff back there, like a razor, a cuticle trimmer, more jewelry, my puffs. I love my puffs. Um, my bases, like my eyeshadow bases from Pretty Louise. Um, I also have a Stila Shimmer shadow, and then I have all my like duo glues here. More eyeshadow bases, but mostly just eyebrows. So I have this Elf pomade. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have soap brow, um, and these are powder brows. A sharpener, and then this is if I need a, to um, create like a sharp line, but I'm lazy and I don't want to cut it out, or I just want to be sloppy with it, I put that down. I have just this card so I can make sharp lines, and then I have all these like little things just in case I need to give someone something or whatever here I have eyeliners and brow products and um, mascara it's just all right here so and then I have Elmer's glue if I need to cover my brows no never know for any look so then here oh this is um pop socket I got from the Nikki tutorials and that's just a compact mirror but not to the main. And here I have any tools, so eyelash curlers, just pimple popping tools, scissors, and this is to put um your um your products on instead of your hand. I have samples. This is just instructions to a new product I got, but these are samples. This is to apply mask, Vaseline, samples. In here I have my like gems I need to get like a gem organizer and then back here I have some fake nails some fashion tape a lighter Carmex and then like a clip and then moving on to this stuff I have miss miss Miller cleansing water some witch hazel and an acne serum hyaluronic acid I have Rose hip seed oil. I have a peeling solution mask, of niacinamide. I have disposable cotton pads just for the time being. I'm about to get some disposable ones soon. And then here I have just my moisturizers, sunscreen, toners, you name it, it's here. And more moisturizers back there. So that's the first drawer. Now on to the second drawer. This is all just palettes. Um, over here I have my Morphe side, basically. And then back there I have a Hitty Beauty New Nude palette. And this is all my Jeffree stuff. So I have Blue Blood, Jawbreaker, Orgy. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star. It's cremated and then the bigger Orgy at the bottom. So that's that. And then over here I have my new Nikki Tutorials palette, um, a Juvia's Place palette, the MacBook um, ColourPop palettes, um, the Ultimate Edit, Sassy Sienna's. So I usually take these two when I travel, so I keep that right, right here. 
and then I have two Makeup Revolution palettes. So that's just this drawer. Now I'm moving on to the big boy. So for the first drawer, we have foundations and primers. Obviously, it's usually the first step, so I want to include that. I also have like a cream foundation here and then some color correctors around here. I'll be rolling away. And then back there I have all my like setting powders. So they range from price range. I have a Becca one, Laura Mercier. I have Pretty Vulgar, Fit Me. And then I have this bad boy from Fenty and Airspun. Yeah, these are all like my foundations. I do go through these drawers a lot, so that's why they're never quite full because I'll take what I know I'll never wear again and just discard it, give it to someone I know is close to my skin tone or whatever. And same thing for primers. In here, I have lashes. These are all my lashes. Um, I'm about to go through them again and start buying different kind of lashes from different people. I haven't decided yet though, but here I have Angelic Beauty Lashes, um, Dodo, um, Avalux, and then these are Nova Rose, and these are just like some dramatic lashes back here, but yeah, just lash drawer. In here, I have a whole bunch of products. So over here, I have Cream Contour, Cream Blush, I have um, glitter glues right here and then over here I have all my concealers even my color correcting ones so yeah just all concealers my pressed powders here highlighters all right here this is literally all highlights including this and this oh, there's more back there but I have a ton of highlights and then over here, I have some, or these three are blush palettes. This is a uh, Jeffrey highlight. And then for this thing, it's a sliding unit I got. And here I have just more contour things or bronzers. I have butter bronzers, Revolution, Hula. I have a Kylie blush, um, Wet n Wild blush. Yeah, this is just like blush and bronzer, basically all right here that back and then close that this drawer has all disposable sanitation items so I have a disposable lip balm disposable liner or precision brushes disposable q-tips and then in this bigger one I have disposable mascara wand I have over here, I have 70% um, isopropyl alcohol, and I keep that in this spray bottle, which I spray every makeup palette I use that day before and after use. Um, and I use 70% because it um, takes a little bit more longer to dry down, but it pretty much does the job the best because it does take longer to dry. I have some wedges here, cosmetic wedges, because I don't like using sponges on other people. I have eyeshadow shields, um, just in case I'm working with pressed pigments. Um, I know it's going to go past the shield, but if I'm working with neon and I'm doing a neon look. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I, I, my voice cracked and I didn't want to continue that clip with me just coughing. But um, I was mentioning the shields because sometimes with neon looks, any drop of neon it leaves behind a neon like trace. So when you put in the neon lights, you could still tell there was neon there. So I have those there. And then I have three different sets of lashes. So they're a lot more naturally. And then I have like a more fuller set. But um, I use these for clients. And then 
these are lipsticks um so i have different ones milani l'oreal but i usually keep these here because these are usually ones i like to reserve to clients and i usually will then give them little pieces of the actual lipstick so they could take in a little container but i don't have the containers here but um the containers they'll take and they can just reapply them if they want but that's um why i keep these here so i don't like using mine because i just apply mines and i don't really sanitize them as well as i would with something i know is reserved for clients over here i have different um shades of foundations these are just my beginner shades so i have these the lightest shade of the fit me to the not the darkest to the darkest fit me then i have the lightest in can't stop won't stop which is even lighter than the fit me to the darkest in the can't stop one stop i have two clips reserved for clients um just to keep their hair out of my way um i keep just those two here because that's usually enough for them and yeah um this is our rcma no color powder and this stuff is bomb no flashback a Eyelash curler reserved for clients, which I sanitize, and then the palette for applying things instead of on your hand, you apply on this little mini palette. Um, it's here and it's wrapped up. Oh, sorry. So then I have the beauty rounds, and then back here I have different um, blush palettes for different shades, and then a contour palette. And then I just have some makeup wipes that I could give them um, after they're done. And then just a makeup eraser just so I could place it down on my workstation and clean brushes as I go. So yeah, that's what's in this drawer. A lot of just client stuff. And the last drawer skincare so these are all my masks these are um sheet mask lip mask under eye mask all here this is just a body oil um pores and dark spots strips or dots so that's from the peace out brand love that i have more of them back there and then i have my tint eyebrow tint stuff here and those are waxing strips i'd rarely use those i like burned myself a long time ago so i just keep those there now and then i have this amazing pond rejuvening this stuff gets rid of my dark spots like no other and yeah so that's all i'm sorry but my toesies i mean you can't see my toes but my socks so that's this that's a wrap on every single thing on my vanity i didn't go in depth obviously i just showed you kind of what is what and that is my whole vanity Alrighty, so that is it that's the wrap up of my vanity tour i hope you guys really enjoy um looking at what how i organize my stuff and what i have in my collection and yeah so i hope you guys can see pretty much what i basically look at when i'm filming so and how I'm reaching for different things, you kind of know the setup a little bit more. So yeah, um, if you guys wanna see more stuff, more in depth um, things of my vanity, um, don't forget to comment down below, ask any questions or just mention any videos you want me to record. Just comment down below and just let me know. I will surely get right back to you. And yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and turn the notification bell on so you know when I post. I usually post Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but there will possibly start becoming a nice pop-up Saturday video coming up, um, but you won't know unless you're notified, so turn the bell on, all right? Okay, so that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the flip side. 
I'm a teller, I'm a California dreamer.